Okay, uh, this week's app of the week goes to an app called Chore Pad, and um, this will revolutionize the way that your children think about doing tasks and how you can reward them for doing uh, certain tasks. It certainly has helped in my family. Before we get into the program, we're going to go into the settings because this is a very important part of this program. Um, prevent edit operations. So users, chores and rewards, you can just turn these on and off to stop anything being deleted or added without your knowledge. Um, prevent delete operations, chores and rewards, exactly the same. You can set these up and suppress sounds on or off. We're going to leave everything off so that we can enjoy the entire program. Um, let's go back into the main program. And the screen that this opens up on, because I've been playing with this, is um, uh, the screen of one of the users, or one of the children, or one of the adults, or whoever's going to be using the program. And I've set it up as a user, and you can see that the a user has some tasks. You can see that they have a wintry theme, and you can see that this is all done over the past week. And here we are today uh, with the theme, with the uh, chores that should be done. So before I go into how you set this up, this is as easy as basically if I've read a book, you enter it there, you get one star plus. We'll go through how, you, how we do that part. And so on. And you basically keep going through this. You can also um, take away if uh, you feel that it was done in error or for some reason they've done something wrong or it was a mistake that you added it there. So you can certainly add and take away stars. Total amount of stars they earn is at the top, so 33 here, uh, 27 tasks. Um, you can go forward in weeks and you can go back in weeks. If you add a, if you add a check mark to a task that's in the past date it asks you if this is correct because this is in the past anyway so did he read a book on Wednesday yes he did uh, I forgot to oops, I forgot to uh, add it anyway so there we go we add it on there but let's get into how we set all of this up first of all let's look at the help menu um, lots of help here for you which is really great, um, especially when you're using an app like this. So it guides you through how to add users, edit users, choose a theme, select a photo, display a chart, adding chores, editing chores, assigning chores, adding rewards, edit rewards, paying out rewards, the title bar, week bar, chore label, star modifier tray, the chore cell, customizing chores, rearranging chores, and enabling the data protection, which is what we did at the very beginning um, of uh, this demonstration. So let's click on done because we're going to go through all of that. Let's go ahead and create a new user. Now all of the users pop up in here and if you wanted to switch between uh, users, you basically click on one and it switches to them. Their, ch their theme changes and uh, everything else, their stars would change, their chart their rewards and everything else. So what we're going to do, instead of showing you all of these, we're going to create one. And we'll call him uh, Boy1 and we'll have the theme as a full theme and I'll show you that in one second. So we're done. So now we are boy one. This is the theme. This is empty because we've not added any chores and we haven't uh, assigned anything yet. So if we go back into the user and we look at the settings on the theme you can change these at any time. So go from fall to winter, go from winter to the classic and so on. But we'll leave that on fall. Now what you want to do to start with is let's click on done click out of that, is you can import a photo of the person or the child or the adult. Um, we like this photo so we'll use this one uh, for boy one. And so they have each photo so they can find their own uh, chore list a lot easier than, uh, than reading if, if they can't uh, read their names. 
Um, and then what we want to do is add some chores. So we get a bunch of chores here that we can just click on and add. So for example, if I were to click on homework, you add that, and then you see it pops up in the grid. Okay, now if I want to add a new chore, let's say I want to add, uh, take the trash out, and it occurs every day. You can touch these to make it not occur on certain days, but we're going to have this occur every day, and repeats weekly. Again, you can change this to every other week, monthly, never repeat. We're going to leave it on weekly. Uh, the value of taking the trash out. We are going to give you, very generously, six stars for doing that because it's always cold and it's a messy job. And we'll give it its own icon that you can choose from here. And there's a trash can. And we are done. So now we have trash. Add that chore, and there we are. So um, let's go back in here one second and show you how to delete. So you can delete a chore as simply as that. Going back into the chart to the chart again, uh, you would click on it, add the chore, and there it is showing up in the uh, in the. Um, in the screen. So let's add a couple more of these chores that we've already built in so you don't have to go through that. So brushing uh, teeth in the morning, uh, reading a book, um, let's see, uh, washing the car, you get a lot of stars for that one, um, brush teeth at night of course, and let's leave it at that. So now we have our chore list for boy one the teddy bear and we can go up and down and the yellow is the is the day of the week we're on now so this is where we are so like i said uh adding a a, a, a check mark back here it will ask you if you want to update um, now let's go and look at uh the rewards we can create new rewards so that when they get the amount of stars on their tasks the reward that their stars are worth can be paid out at the time they receive them or they can save their stars and go for a big reward so on here we have games at 10, movies at 12, go bowling at 50, go out to movies with a friend at 100 stars. And we can add these because these were already, uh, sorry, they were already in there. But we can add a new reward. Let's say um, sleepover. All right, sleep at friends. And we'll say that you can do that when you have 75,000 stars. No, I'm just kidding. You can do that when you have... 63 stars. So that reward is worth 63 stars. Okay, so you can play a game with 10 stars, watch a movie with 12, go bowling with 50, sleep at a friend's with 63, uh, go to the movies with a friend uh, for 100 stars. So there, it, there are rewards. And as you gain the stars up here, once you get to a certain uh, value, you can obviously pay out the rewards. These will become highlighted when that star reaches that value and uh, show you which ones are available to pay out. You can also view the payout history, so it will show you what you've paid out in the past, how many stars, and so on. So let's go ahead and um, go through this, and, and let's, let's get some stars going here. So um, let's say we wash the car on Sunday. It only happens every Sunday. only happens on a Sunday. That's why these are gray. Okay, so when it comes back around to Sunday, they'll be white again. Um, let's go and say, uh, actually they'll be yellow because it'll be on that day. Uh, but let's update this. And I'm just going to go through these quickly and update them just to give us some stars. Got a nice little trophy for being so good when we uh, when we completed it, 10 chores now we're on chore number 11 and we can keep going adding these up and so on so now we're on today so let's say we did all the chores we were supposed to do today 
And you see that didn't ask me to update. Now one other very nifty thing about this is that you can reorganize the chores just like this, uh, which is really, really cool. And don't forget, like I showed you at the beginning, you can take away a star if you feel that um, you were incorrect with giving them one or they didn't actually take the trash out but they said they did. No, you didn't take that. Oops. No, you didn't take the trash out that night, Johnny. So we're going to take that one away and um, close that up. And then you can have their thing. So now we have 22 tasks or chores completed, 44 stars. Uh, let's go and have a look what we can get. So with 44 stars, we can play games or go to the movie. Uh, we can't go bowling, we can't sleep with a friend, and we can't go out to the movies with a friend because we don't have enough stars yet. So we can either choose to continue or we can uh, decide to redeem some of the stars. So let's say I want to go to a movie. I want to redeem that one. See it's on 44, pay that out all the way down to 32, and we're off to the movie. So we come back from seeing Alvin and the Chipmunks, and we get back into our chores, we can go back in weeks, and you can go back as far as you want, and we can go forward in weeks. Not sure why you'd want to go forward and add a chore uh, that they haven't quite done yet, but they might want to try to sneak in there and put one in that they did without doing, so just watch out for that. But you can always go forward and, and, and credit them with something that um, you feel was good and they can have at that point in time. So that's a good reason to have that. So we'll go back. Um, and that's really how it works. Again, changing between users is as simple as uh, clicking on, on the user list and doing that. And uh, this, this is a great, great app. It, uh, it gets the children excited about, <laughs> about doing the chores because they know there's a great reward at the end of it. It's not quite the same when you say if you eat all your dinner, you can watch a movie. They not sh sometimes they don't quite believe you. Um, but if you have this application and they see that they only need three more stars to, to uh, get something, um, then more often than not, they will... Uh, they'll read a lot more books, for example. It's like, oh, if I read another book today, can I get another star? And so on and so on. So they end up reading like 68 books in a day, uh, which is great. But um, anyway, this is a really, really superb pro program. It's called uh, Chore Chest. Sorry, it's called um, uh, ch uh, Chore Pad. And um, we just went and organized a chore chest, but it's, uh, it's really, really great. I can highly recommend this. Um, I don't often do that for apps, but this certainly helped my family to get organized, and it helped my kids to understand what uh, chores were all about. Uh, so I can uh, say it's a, it's a very good app.